Hey guys, Shalana here. Welcome to The Bin Zone. On today's video, we're going to be looking at the Netflix original series Hollywood, looking at the characters, the plot, and the story to get a better understanding of overall what the story is about. But before we dive into Hollywood, guys, if you guys want to see more Netflix reviews, more movie reviews, more breakdowns, ending explains, and all that jazz, consider subscribing to the channel where we update weekly on Ending Explains reviews and everything you like about TV and movies. So definitely hit the subscribe button. But without further ado, let's dive into Hollywood season one. Now, Hollywood is a show that was made in Hollywood about Hollywood. Now, we know how these shows and movies usually go. It's usually Hollywood patting itself on the back. And we're kind of over that by now. However, when it comes to this season, I found myself strangely engrossed in what was going on because I actually liked the subject matter, not Hollywood itself and all that mumbo jumbo, but the subject matter being transplanted with the characters being used in there because the strongest point in Hollywood is by far the characters. Now, my favorite character who I'm going to get into a little later is very problematic, but he's by far my favorite character. But before we dive into him, I want to talk about the main six characters of Hollywood because this story is about making it in Hollywood in a post-World War II era because at this point, Hollywood just became booming. They used to have silent movies, now movies are talking. People want to go to Hollywood, become a star. And now you have a thing that happens in Hollywood that still permeates to today because back then, especially in the 50s, like diversity where not in Hollywood, even though now, you know, we're kind of getting more diverse films, it's still like diversity where. So this show takes an approach of adding some diversity into Hollywood. So off rip, you guys can already tell that this is a make-believe show. Like some of the characters are real life characters, but a lot of the characters were made up for this show and a lot of the stories were embellished to make it be more pizzazzy. So without further ado, let's really look at the six characters. We have Jack, Archie, Rock, Raymond, Camille, and Claire. Now, Jack here is your typical all-American white boy, white boy. Like, he's straight, hetero, wants to be a movie star. Think Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. This is who he is. And now we have Archie. Now, Archie here is an up-and-coming writer who is black. So, you know, off-rip. is so woo. On top of him being black, he's gay. So, talk about the double whammy of stereotypes. And I have my own issues with that because, you know, there's no reason to smorgasbord two stereotypes into the black dude when there's plenty more characters we could have used but he wants to be a writer so he has to overcome that stigma of being black as well as being gay and him balancing that act now we have rock rock hudson is a real life character you should look him up so that's based on a true character and his portrayal in the beginning about him stumbling and his acting is wild and it's all true though that's the crazy part he was a terrible actor in real life when he started and the show doubly embellishes that fact and i find it hilarious and then you have Raymond, who is white passing, but he's half Filipino. So he's able to make it in Hollywood because he's white passing, because he looks white. And they don't know about his Asian ancestry, which is something that permeates throughout Hollywood to this day. Like, if you look white, if you look a certain part, like, psh, just bury your history and you can make it. That's pretty much how it was. But he's determined to fight against that stigma and he wants diversity in Hollywood. Besides that fact, we have Camille, who is a black actress in the 50s trying to make it into mainstream blockbuster Hollywood Oscar-worthy movies. And when 2020, name me five black actresses. Fuck it. Name me one who has won an Academy Award for the best actress in a movie. Just one. Not supporting, but the main title role. It hasn't happened. And that's what her storyline is. So that's when I say the people go and do fantastical versions of Hollywood. This is where it's coming from. And then you have Claire. Claire is an inspiring actress whose parents run the movie studio. And because of that, she's spoiled and people looked upon her differently because, you know, she's a terrible actress, but she has money. So all these six characters are in Hollywood trying to make a name for themselves and we follow their stories. Now, one character I want to dive into who's not part of the main six is Henry, a.k.a. Sheldon Cooper. This guy right here. This dude right here, Jesus, like, I can't even begin to tell you guys how much I love this character. He's flamboyantly gay in this show, in the show, like, beyond. He's sassy, he's a queen, he's everything, and he's every stereotype embellished, right? But it is hilarious, but at the same time, he's based on a true character as well. So, like, this is not like they're putting the shit out of his hat. Like, the, the, the things that he's done have been alleged that he's actually done them in real life, the real life version of this character. But he's hilarious nonetheless. These characters really make them show. And then you have a great supporting cast. You have Dick, Ernie, Ellen, Henry, and Avis. 
these characters as well have their own stories. All these different characters, all these different Hollywood types make this a great show, makes it fun. And granted, the story itself is a little Cinderella-ish, if you will. It's a little embellished. It's a little hard to believe. But because of the chemistry of these actors and because of the way they're portrayed, it adds to it. Like the story itself is your typical Hollywood story. The underdogs make it. They win. All that jazz. But it's the journey to get there. It's the steps they take. It's what they have to overcome. Even though it gives us a happy ending at the end where, you know, they make this great movie that wins all the awards. It's a fucking smash, right? Even though it's all of that, like, that doesn't happen in real life. And that ending was unimpressive. But the character dynamics really sold it. These characters really stood out. And the fact that it's a limited series, I liked it because you tell your story and you get out. I'm a big fan of limited series. You have a story to tell, you tell it, you get out, and you're done. But I will say, if they would have made a second season, I wouldn't be mad because I want to see these characters again. And another thing this show does is make me see how seedy and shitty Hollywood is. And the fact that the stuff that's happening there in the 50s is still going on today. And we're still not as diverse as we would like. Granted... I don't like the forced diversity in Hollywood at all because it's just like, bruh, no, don't just shoot on your token black guy or your token Asian and you're diverse. Ooh, no, tell real stories. And if your real stories are about minorities, great. But if it's not, don't shove them in there. But at the same time, they did this in this movie where they did something that was really interesting. In the movie they're shooting in the series, they actually took a white story and they made it diverse without ruining it or making it seem forced and that was a natural thing in this movie and i'm like yo if hollywood could do shit like this like take a story add some twang to it and you don't change anything really you make it a diverse story without making it be forced it works think miles morales and spider-man into the spider-verse something like that fucking works so hollywood can do it and don't just give me a show about you guys hurrying and fucking patting yourselves on the back and saying you're diverse you're not so just follow the show that you made do something like that in real life and it's all the better for it anyway guys that's my thoughts on hollywood season one i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below if you like the video definitely give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already and until next time binge on